Houston. Right now, a metro-wide search is on for the driver who intentionally crashed into a group of bicyclists in Jefferson County over the weekend. Denver 7's Micah Smith smoke, spoke with organizers who put together that ride, and they say it typically is a very joyous occasion. I talked to a representative with the Jeffco Sheriff's Office, and she told me she knows tension between drivers and cyclists have existed for a long time. But that tension should never rise to the level of this crime. Around 950 on Sunday morning, a driver crashed their SUV into two cyclists on US Highway 40 near I-70 in Evergreen. The cyclists were on the shoulder of the road. He passed one of the cyclists at the rear and then intentionally drove his vehicle into two of the cyclists. Jeffco Sheriff's Office Public Affairs Director Jenny Fulton says then the SUV sped into the El Rancho restaurant parking lot. He had a bicycle stuck underneath of his vehicle and it appeared that he was trying to dislodge it. Fulton says once the suspect got rid of the bike, they sped off. The sheriff's office has identified the suspect as 38 year old Alan Haley Mill. Mill is facing assault in the first degree and accidents involving death or personal injuries charges. We have a victim that's in critical condition and we don't know whether she'll be able to fully recover. I must say that we are absolutely heartbroken about the event. I speak on behalf of the board, every one of our members. Valerie Southgate is on the board of Team Evergreen, the nonprofit that organized Sunday's ride. Southgate can't speak about the investigation or the victims, but confirmed they are members of her organization. It was one of our regular rides on a Sunday that had been in existence for an awfully long time and are usually a very joyous place to be. But on this particular Sunday, absolutely tragic. Our fugitive unit is tasked with trying to find this individual. But Fulton says investigators are also asking for the community's help. The Jeffco Sheriff's Office says if you know where the suspect is, call local law enforcement, not necessarily the Jeffco Sheriff's Office because the suspect may no longer be in their jurisdiction. Reporting in Jeffco, Micah Smith, Denver 7.